uh, lateral to the midline mm -hmm. over the correct side that we've decided we're going to put in our drain. Uh, and we're going to make a hole just over the, uh, and just anterior to the coronal suture, which is a point called Bernie's point. Okay. Then we make our skin incision, which would normally bleed a little bit. But, and then you can go either straight down to the bone, or if you're worried about blood loss because it's a tiny child, you can go carefully and use the diathermy to reduce blood loss. Mm -hmm. And then the scalp is normally, even in a child, slightly thicker than this. So as discussed for, for the model, we're going to find a way to, to loosen the skin. Yeah. We might, um, uh, yeah, we have some ideas for perhaps put like a thin film underneath it, then apply the skin to the film. Okay. So it's the skin is stuck to the film rather than the skull. So, then normally we'd put in a little clump to hold this open. Okay. But I'm going to stick this to the skin edge. Like that. There we go. That works. <laughs> uh, so then we've got our skull exposed. We can see we're in the right place with the coronal suture there. How do I use this? <laughs> uh, you press up and then that controls the power. So. Schleim. Oh, oh. That's fine. Let's stay out of the way just to then my neck. and inject some, some water as you go. Possibly, you can try. Yeah. Um, no, <laughs> you get the, the syringe. <laughs> so take the, take the yeah. small needle off. Is that the top? Yeah, it's up at the top there somewhere. So as he's doing like that, you can just slowly pop it some water. So I'm going to have a sucker to uh, <laughs> try and see where we're going. Not quite through yet. So do you feel the plastic kind of so depressing? You normally would just, so it's not quite there yet. Obviously I'll get a bit more feel with a skull. I've done it a bit more often. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you think about the water? It helps to stop it melting. Shell kind of thickness, which I've just got a tiny bit more to do. Mm -hmm. a bit
keeps going soft when it melts and then reforming. <laughs> disc of bone just on the surface here which we can just push out of the way and then we can see our dura underneath. Still good. So then you would if you had a nice sharp knife be able to make a little nick through that dura. That was the needle that we had. <laughs> so so the recess guys helped us out. These are uh, sharp needles, so we'll start as a hole through. But not cut, so that's the only thing. So we're going to have to get a scalpel. Okay. Let's see how well it works. So then we'll go through the hole. Kind of, but wouldn't with the. Uh, Trying to make a whole figure. You wouldn't do this with the body. So you're having the jura kind so of move in with it the, rather yeah, than split. Exactly. Okay, so, so we're going to need a really well a proper scalpel. Or I'd make a bigger hole. Okay. So because then it's a bit easier to cut a hole in the jura. <coughs> and then this, you know, just pushes away. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and that's the only other b drill bit we've got, only. Because um, we wouldn't use one this small normally in a head. Okay. Um, the only other ones I have... Well, actually I've got loads. I've got about a hundred different ones. So we can have a look through them. Maybe one of those to widen it. This is a kind of grinding bit. will just stop working within seconds on this plastic. Mm -hmm. the, those ones? Yeah. No, no, um, I was using them on a, another model actually earlier. Let's give it a try. On the mine model it was working. Yeah. Have you paused for them? Can I? Yeah. I was trying to... Yeah. Do you want to get them? 
Grab some forceps. I need a holder. Okay. So we've got a bit of a better view of the Question is, will we still cut through there or not? Not sure. No, pushes away. Okay. Um, I have some uh, just for to actually get something that works. I have some lapis cut scissors. Got it. I don't stand. Hey. Mike <laughs> here. It won't fit through the, the uh, oh, yeah, no. alternative. Is, while you're not video, I can get a hop, which I think I did there, to get into the ventricle. Okay. So the question is, is that in possibly about the right depth? Get some. See, it's just pushing away. Right. That's what I said the uh, problem is going to be with this brain. It all just pushes away. Okay. So we can let me just go through with this one again. So the jewel head of my coming. So that felt like it went into the ventricle. Okay. You get a distinct pop when it goes. As you in. enter. Okay. Can I try? Which is what you would. So, if you come out and then go in like that. As you go in. I think I've gone through both sides. <laughs> um.